Well, here's another negative. Let's talk about some individual movers. Shares right. of Uber are moving lower after the ride-hailing giant confirmed it is investigating a cybersecurity breach. Now, according to reports, a hacker was using an employee's workplace Slack account to send company-wide messages claiming that he or she had compromised the network. Uber said in a tweet, we are currently responding to a cybersecurity incident. We are in touch with law enforcement and will post additional updates as they become available. So, you know, we talk about the macro environment and then we talk about you know, these individual situations that are affecting these companies. So, you know, according to the New York Times, this was an 18 year old yeah. who managed to get into their internal systems. I mean, Uber hasn't necessarily been known from a data protection front, uh, been known as the Winterfell of, uh, of data privacy. <laughs> I mean, they had a hack back in 2016, impacted 57 million driver and rider accounts. I mean, $100,000 they were demanded in order to uh, get that data expunged basically and so now another instance and this is where we talk about the important for the importance for so many of the companies to amp up their cybersecurity spending if you can get hacked by a teenager right now and and especially in an era where Uber has a partner in HackerOne. I was able to interview their CEO many years back in New Orleans at mm. the Collision Conference, and it seems like a grand idea when you have a company that you're partnering with that's job is to poke holes in every vulnerability that you may have on your technological platform, and then this still happens by an 18 year old. I mean, even Winterfell got breached, Brad. They yeah. did, but yeah, they were one of the one of the more yes, secure places. Yes. We're looking at that Uber comms team doing that hard work, putting out that statement on uh, Twitter there for the universe. But look, this is a, a tough uh, end of the week here uh, for Uber. At the Goldman Conference, uh, CEO Dara Khosr Shahi, uh, his presentation was well received. I was talking to a lot of folks that uh, left that presentation after. They liked what he had to hear. They liked what he was uh, clamping down on expenses, saying some positive things on demand, uh, pointing to continued strong demand overall in the economy for services. But so much for all that. Yeah.